We got talking we there. We did, we did. And I remember I was like, I've recently just left my job. I I, I have experience in so many different parts. Um, I, I don't know, do you have anything? And you were like, I do. I have an EA role. Yeah. I that and I remember role. saying to you, if it's serious, we'll talk about it on Monday. Like, I don't like talking about business when I've had, had a few drinks. Well, look who we have today. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> New jacket? New jacket. I got it last week. Oh, just know. for the podcast, Just ready? for the podcast. <laughs> I always have to look good. Yeah. I'm sitting next to you. Of course. Keep up. <laughs> uh, so, where are we, Jace? Well, EA. you know, just being in the A. Yeah. That's it. How's it been? You know what? How it's, has it actually been? How has it actually been? Oh, my goodness. My boss is sitting right next to me. I don't know what to say. No, I'm kidding. Um... It's been really good. Um, Being an EA is a job that people don't think that there is much work to it, but there is so much work to it. (laughs) No, I know. It's really funny when you think about it. It's because you're organising somebody else's life, but on top of organising your own. Yeah. Organising the business, the runnings, the ins and outs, making sure that everyone's on time, making sure you're on time. (laughs) That's hard. That's that's the main thing, making sure that your day runs smoothly yeah. and making sure that everybody else can fit into your day is what I do. Yeah. And making sure that the team are running smoothly, everyone's fine. And, like, you know, we've had quite a small team for yeah. a long time. Like, yeah. we don't have a, big, a large team in head office. And it's funny because whenever we don't have that position, that's your position. Literally. So you're doing EA plus... <laughs> a bit of marketing, yeah. uh, a bit of at graphic the, design. At the moment, you're a graphic designer. <laughs> you know, a bit of this, a bit of that. <laughs> um, I think that's also a good thing, though, where when you do have a small team, you realise that people can jump in and do something else. Okay. Um, you know, there shouldn't be... People shouldn't have, like, a stock standard role. I mean, they should, yes. I, I shouldn't say that. Um Everybody should have a stock standard role. But if you know that somebody else can also excel in another area, I just definitely think if they're there, why not use them? Well, you know, I have been around for a year and a half and never <laughs> did I know that you could do graphic designing until two months ago. You come out, whip, whip out this amazing <laughs> thing better than most graphic designers. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> you probably wish you never did that. I now know. that's your new position. I know. <laughs> Oh, look, I was an art student at school and I excelled in all of that and blah, 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 blah. So I think that comes naturally to me. It's, that's why I was a stylist. Styling came naturally to me. It's before I did this, I was styling. Yep. Um, anything creative or anything that shows beauty, I mean, I excel in. I enjoy it and I know that I can make it look good. Yeah. No, totally. And <clears throat> looking back, be- I, let's go back to how we met. Yes. That's okay. the best part. <laughs> um, well, we met literally, was it five years ago? We met five years ago. Five at years ago. Our f- mutual at our, friend. At a mutual friend's party. Um, you were whitening some teeth. Were you whitening? No, no you weren't whitening teeth. We were at a party. We were at a party. Was it, was it a Halloween party? It was a Halloween party. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Alison walks over to me. You walk over to me and you're like, hey. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> no, because you were just so fabulous. <laughs> I have never seen a guy have a handbag and have his nails done. And that laugh. I was oh like, <laughs> like it's true. he's so cute. And then we didn't actually see each other. We didn't see yeah. each other for another four years mm. after that because we were talking that night, I remember, and then I was like, Jacob, who's this? <laughs> Jacob's our mutual friend. Um, and Jacob was like, who's – I was like, Jacob, who's Alison? And he's like, oh, she's one of my best girlfriends. You love her. But then we didn't talk again for four years. And then we met at another party. No. When? I came and widened at Style Runner. That's it. <laughs> and we still have the video. Yes, we still have the video <laughs> of that, actually. That's really funny. You came to Style Runner. You walked in. I remember this now, actually. And you are like, Jason. And I'm like, Alison? You're like, babe, what are you doing here? I'm like, this is where I work. <laughs> I got a video of you dancing in front of the teeth. Why didn't you get your teeth whitened that day? I was very busy that day. I had a deadline that oh, afternoon. Oh, you weren't allowed. I wasn't allowed. She was laying the law down. I know. All the managers were getting their teeth whitened. I was so jealous. <laughs> I was like, why can't I get mine done? Like sulking like a little girl. Do you girl. remember how long my hair was? You had very Yuck. long. I had black, long hair. Long, dark hair. <laughs> and you very pretty. Always chic. And, no, I always remember you You still to this day told me that Jess was wearing. She was wearing Vans. You were not happy about that. <laughs> Look, it was We had fine. old school days. It we was... didn't need to wear beautiful no, jackets no. back then. Like you were wearing, I think you were, you were wearing Prada, fl- Prada flats. I remember How that. How do you remember that? I remember everything. You were wearing Prada flats. And then I was like, oh, this girl's so chic. I'm like, love Alison. She's so funny. But then this was the, the early days of Sparkling White. It yeah, was the early days. It would have been in the first year, I think. Honestly. And yeah. I think back at it now. Where are we? Seven years? Six years? Six. Six years. From where you were that day when I saw you again, when we reconnected, to where we are now, 
It has completely changed. <laughs> Processes and procedures, uniforms, structures, yeah. head office. Mm-hmm. So much has grown from that instance and that booking. Yeah. I see it as from an outsider to now an insider. Mm-hmm. It is insane. Oh, it's so crazy how it has. It's not an overnight success. An overnight success takes 10 years. So we're Absolutely. still not even near close to it. Absolutely. But it's changed so much over the last six years. But then... We met at another party. Oh, we did. We met no, at another actually, party. it wasn't actually a party, believe it or not. I was widening one of my clients. Well, he's not really a client. He's a friend client. Mm-hmm. And um, and then he didn't have his teeth whitening. He gave me a glass of wine and we're really good friends. So we had a few wines. Mm-hmm. He left me at his house <laughs> with nobody there and left me for like two hours. <laughs> and that big dog. Yes. <laughs> and like he's just left and I called Jacob and yep. I'm like, where are you? And he's like, I'm actually down the road. Jacob said he's, he's going to bring a few of his a few friends. friends. I didn't think he was going to bring 20 of his <laughs> friends to some <laughs> random's house. <laughs> I mean, that was fun. Oh, my God. And then I, you all start piling in and I'm thinking, oh, my God, I You're just like, invited all these people. And this isn't my house. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm watching all these gay guys dancing in the middle of <laughs> and I just joined in. But um, we got talking there. We did. We did. I remember I was like, I've <laughs> recently just left my job. I... I I have experience in so many different parts. Um, I, I don't know. Do you have anything? And you were like, I do. I have an EA role. Yeah. I and available. I remember saying to you, if it's serious, we'll talk about it on Monday. Like, I don't like talking about business when I've had, had a few drinks. That's and you it. called me on Monday. I called you on Monday. I called you and then I sent you a text and I was like, hi, Alison, it's Jason Evans here. I just wanted to get in contact. I know that we were speaking on Saturday night. I would love to talk about an opportunity. With Can Sparkling you Wine. talk about then I had the time I had this office in 80 William Street in the city. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I only had just gotten it. So. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> and it was a bombshell. It wasn't a bombshell. It was it a was, bombshell. It was very corporate. It wasn't sparkling white <laughs> smile. You Okay, so let me paint this picture. You walk into the building, it's a marble like The building's nice. Mil- the building's stunning. Like you marble lobby, you get into the lift, you walk down the hallway and then all you see is glass doors, fluorescent lighting, um, stock standard car- office carpet. Yeah. And then I walk into the the office Exactly the same thing. It was awful. It wasn't sparkling white smile. <laughs> but hey, when you have no money and you're growing <laughs> your business, that's all you can do. You make it work. <laughs> yeah. You make it work. Um, anyway, so I'm like, come on, we better get out of here. We'll go down to have a we coffee. Went and had a coffee. <laughs> I don't know how you took the job. Oh, uh, <laughs> honestly, I was, I was, I wanted to change. Yeah. And I knew this was the right change. I had, you know, previous experience with marketing as well. So yeah. I was like, you know, if I can't do this role, I'm sure she'll have something else or, you know what, something else will pop up. Mm. I, I was lucky. Yeah. I got it. You got it. And I'm here today. <laughs> and then we we started in Rose Bay because we didn't actually end up – we finished with that office. Yes. We went we to, moved Rose to Rose Bay. Bay. That office there was chic. Oh, we that was that. that was very chic, but it was a bit – like It was too big. It was too big and not all we needed. No. So and then, then we moved to Darling, Darling Point. Point. And that's where we've been the whole time. That was great. There's but. That, that very, very busy yeah. Instagram that you have, I have no idea where. <laughs> how did you record all that? I feel like it was lunch breaks. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like all that. the days that I had off. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Don't be silly. Um, Darling Point was a great office. Yep. But where we are now yeah, is very exciting. We finally got it. We're not. I don't think we're set there. That's right. Where we will stay there until... Hopefully Transvale is ready. Yes. Well, and this is the fun, exciting thing yeah. is that we have our office in Double Bay. Hopefully we get another office. Yeah. Um, but for now it's all working. Oh, I love it. Now it's everything set in its ways. We've got our offices. We've got our teeth whitening rooms, meeting rooms. It's good. I have some space to breathe. You do. It's so good. But you just look back at all the, the elements of how we've grown and oh, you've only been in the company for a year only. Know, only. And how much has happened in a year? Honestly, it's been a whirlwind of success, <laughs> but it's a not. A whirlwind of tears. Uh, yeah, it's tears, blood and sweat. <laughs> Everything. All that fun stuff. Yeah. But it's been for the better. Mm. And as I keep on going back, like when we when I saw you at Style Runner and you were whitening my manager's teeth to where you are now, it is so different Mm -hmm. and it is so exciting because all I know is in another year's time, it's going to be completely different again. Yeah. Well, even when you came into the business a year ago, how different the whole franchising side of things is. Absolutely. How different, you know, our marketing team is and how different we're going to talk about the marketing too. Yep. All of it. (laughs) Um, You know, the PR strategies. The actual business is now 
in the fifth year, we took it into an actual business. Mm -hmm. It was growing, 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 Mm -hmm. and now we are structure. It's processes, it's procedures, you know, the franchising. We don't take any franchises on for six months. They have Mm -hmm. to work for us. They have to prove that they are going to be the right franchisee. And it goes like that. Before it was like, oh, we'll take you on, we'll give you a chance. It didn't work in our favour. Yeah. And I think we got too big, too Too quick. quick. And then you realise, oh, my God, you have a few problems that you need to really sort out and you mm-hmm. need to either change them, make make the whole the whole system different. It's not working. And we are lucky enough that we've come out so much better on the other on side. On the other side. But there's days, Jace, where I remember I've been crying on your – no I'm one will just, see any of this. No one has known. <laughs> um, oh, my shoulder, <laughs> crying, upset, distraught. Yeah. But – we get through it. Yeah. It's the support system mm-hmm. that you and I have. Yeah. We work together like that. And yeah. I think that's our symbiotic relationship in business is that I know that I can lean on you if I need help, but you lean on me when you do need help because yeah. you are always busy. You're always running around. <laughs> Honestly. The, the 12 p.m. emails, the phone calls. Oh, they're fun. <laughs> I love those. But it's the just... Friday night cry. <laughs> the Friday night everything's going wrong before the photo shoot. <laughs> but you know what I'm telling you, though? The fun thing is, though, is that, like, one weekend you'll be in Adelaide, one weekend you'll be in Perth, one weekend you'll be in Gold Coast. Obviously, that's not all happening now. But your business is a whirlwind. Like, yeah. Your life is a whirlwind and you need somebody there to help structure your life. Yeah. And that's... I don't think anyone could do it as better, better than you. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. I'm giving you brownie <laughs> points while we're sitting here. <laughs> no, it's been really good. Like... From, you know, I've had, I haven't really had any other EAs. I've had a PA before, but I know that that's what was one of the main, the main things that I needed in the company at the time, because Mm -hmm. to stay focused and to stay on top of the things that I really, really wanted to grow the company, I wasn't able to, you know, book all the meetings in, you know, reply to all the emails. Every time I have, you know, down to zero, it gets to 75 emails again. And again. And then you miss half of them anyway. So, you know, having you there, you've got my emails, you're replying to them. Everyone thinks that it's me replying, but really it's it's actually it's you. It's a personal reminder and yeah. I think it's that support. As, yeah. as I think any EA or any good EA, that is what they're needed for. It's the support mm. and the assistance with running the business mm. and running your life. Because mm. at the end of the day, you could be out in an appointment, but then you still need to obviously sign off on other things. Mm. Who's going to do that? <laughs> Me. It's so cool these days. Like I might be at an appointment or I'm in a big meeting for a whole day and people wouldn't even think that I would respond. And I I've responded to all these emails and I was like, yep, done You're it all. Like, but- I know. How am I down to zero? <laughs> That's why you have me. Yeah. But that's, I think that's what you need. And I think that's what's been able to help me grow the business. And over the year, how the structures and because before that, there was no structure. It was just take on whatever you could do, you know, grow, 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 run, run, run as fast as you can. But it actually doesn't, it's not in the right place. I had no structure. I had no processes and procedures. I had nothing like that. And then over the last year, I've been able to really step in my role as the CEO and actually grow the company of where I want it to go. Yeah, it's absolutely, it's like that saying where it's like you can listen to a thousand good ideas but make sure you can stop and stay silent and actually work on the best idea. I could not agree more. Let's take a break and then I want to go into some really funny things within the company. Amazing. All right, let's do it. Are you wanting a dramatically wider smile? If you're a coffee drinker or a lover of red wine, then Sparkling White Smiles Premium Ultra White Treatment is for you. The Ultra White Treatment consists of two sittings one week apart. This headlining treatment is tailored to leave your teeth up to 14 shades lighter post-treatment. For bookings and inquiries, send an email to info at sparklingwhitesmile.com.au. That's I-N-F-O at sparklingwhitesmile.com.au. (laughs) What about the time? That I had an event the next day or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, no. It was going, we're going on the plane with Roxy. Yes, we were. And um, Oh, yes, we were. <laughs> oh, yes, we were. And at the time, Jason said, oh, you, you have to go and get an outfit. I said, no, I'm not going to get an outfit. I'm happy with what I'm wearing. I hate spending money on things that I don't need to. Anyway, I said, I can't make it today. Go shopping. Anyway, don't look at my credit card until when he comes back and he comes back with Louis Vuitton bags, Prada Prada bags, um, okay. all these different shoes. And, I, and I, well, he walked in and he had a heart attack and I'm thinking, <laughs> what have you done? He's like, well, you needed it. I looked at my credit card and he had spent $20,000 on outfits. Okay, <laughs> let me explain myself. Alison obviously went to go try on all this stuff. 
the week before. So we're all together. And she's like, I like this outfit. I like this outfit. I liked outfit. it. Doesn't mean I wanted it. <laughs> but she needed it. So we got a Gucci jumpsuit. We got some shoes. It was fine. Everything was good. Everything worked out. You loved it. You're happy. <laughs> We're good. I had to wear it. <laughs> you had to wear it. And you very much looked the best on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> talking about funny stories, my favourite story between you and I is the time that you missed a flight. Oh, God. I love this story. <laughs> I'm telling you, you had – was it 7 a.m. or 6 a.m.? It was a pretty early flight. It, it must have been the 6 a.m. So it was a 6 a.m. flight to Brisbane. Yeah. It was a Friday night. You went out to dinner and then you were like, perfect, cool. I know that I have a flight the next day. Perfect, no problem. And I was like, yeah, cool, just have dinner, all good, and then make sure you go. The next morning, a mutual friend again calls me. goes, hey, Jason, have you spoken to Alison this morning? And I was like, she should be on a flight already to Brisbane. He's like, well, I haven't spoken to her. Like, I went to dinner with her. We had a few drinks. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Like, is she okay? He goes, do you mind just running to her house to see if she's there? I go, perfect, no problem. I walk into her house. I obviously have a key. Um, There she is still in bed. (laughs) I'm like. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. (laughs) Well, I didn't think it was that urgent. I'm like, she had a 6 a.m. flight. She has a booking. Like, it's all good at like 2 o'clock. Everything's fine. I walk in and she's still in bed. You look at me and you go, what day is it? (laughs) I was like, oh, Alison, it's Saturday. You need to be on a flight. And you're like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, get up now. I'm booking you another flight. You have a booking at 2 o'clock. <laughs> get on that flight now. I'm packing your bags. You need to leave. And then I get on the flight and I'm sitting there and I was like, oh, I just forgot every single teeth whitening packet for the next three days. Which so, was hilarious. No, it's not. I'm kidding. It's not hilarious. I remember you called me, you arrived and you're like, Jason, I don't have any packets. And I'm like, what? I packed your bag. You're like, I forgot it. <laughs> so that was funny. And then I come up with this strategy because I'm thinking, how am I going to get these up there? I look at the flights. I was like, all right, I'm going to book a tiger flight, yep. put them on the tiger flight, and then you don't you don't get on it. And you're like, Alison, you can't do that. I'm like, oh. I was like, they're going to think it's a bomb threat. <laughs> yeah. um, if I don't get on the flight, they're going to take my bag off. <laughs> <laughs> so that didn't happen. Thank goodness. We ended up sending up Maddie. Maddie, yes. <laughs> our, that was the, the best thing I did. I know. Because then we ended up doing triple the – everything happens for a reason. It was well, the best thing that Everything happened. does happen for a reason. We've always said this. You ended up doing three times the amount of bookings you had booked in. Um, you had so much content. <laughs> yeah. And you came back tired. Which is fine. <laughs> What's new? What's new? What's new? <laughs> That's so, that was, yeah, that was not a good day. But I, d- I don't really drink. Like as much as we probably had two or three drinks, it was just exhaustion. Well, this like, is the thing Yeah, we were saying before. You are running from one meeting to another meeting to another meeting to another meeting. You don't have time to eat. You don't have time to breathe. Literally, <laughs> you get tired. Yeah. I, I see you sitting there even at 4 o'clock in the afternoon you're doing emails. And I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> Do you want a coffee? Sprite, please. (laughs) Yeah, literally. So it's just like you just get tired because you're purely exhausted. Mm. That's what it is. Well, at the moment, no, I'm not. Which is good. I'm really in a good place at the moment. Like the coronavirus was like it was a stop. It couldn't work regardless. Well, with all the business closures and everything like that, I really think that it gave you time as well to work on the business and not in the business. Exactly. And I think before the corona, I actually didn't know what my position was because I was a teeth whitener, I was a head trainer, I'm trying to be a CEO, trying to be a friend to my franchisees, A, B, C and D. It doesn't work. It really and doesn't. And I think it, 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 you have to focus on what you are doing. Totally. And I think being able to stop, revive. Survive. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and now I have come out of the coronavirus and I am focusing on one thing. I have obviously employed more people in head office mm-hmm. and we've got probably the best head office we've ever going to have. I said that to you this morning. Yeah. And I think, oh my God, someone's going to leave me in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, but right now is the strongest we've ever had. We've got, you know, the operations manager, Liz, taking over that. Yes. She's got business experience. She's got franchising experience. HR experience, accounting experience. <laughs> the other day Jason said, I can't say that because HR will be on to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which was funny. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the the fabulous Maddie taking over the accounts. Yeah, she's doing accounts and she's our HQ technician yeah, as well. And she loves her job. So 
incredible at what she does. She's like a mini me. We're like exactly the I same know, person. I know. It really scares me sometimes. It scares me sometimes there and as I'm well. Like, These two people are exactly the same. We think the same. We look the same. I know. It's we, crazy. And even to the fact where she's emailing me at 12 o'clock at night and I'm like, go to, to sleep. bed. <laughs> but then that's really funny because then you'll still send an email and you're like, guys, don't reply. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we've got this, and then now we've got Toby taking over the marketing role. I know, Jason's which I a little was, bit out of whack. I know it was. I mean, look, he's another gay man. Love gay men, obviously. But when there's a bit of competition, <laughs> actually, I shouldn't say that. A bit of it's, competition. It's, it's friendly competition. We share beauty secrets, and I that's know. what I enjoy. You and Maddie. No beauty routine. No, Nothing. we just use water for our face. We don't need that. Toby and I are like, okay, so what, like, you know, oil cleanser are you using? And then are you doing a double cleanse? Oh, but are you also getting your injections? Do you get lace treatment? That's it's, us. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and the other day we were driving and Jason's like, oh, his table's a bit better than mine. I was like, oh, there's a little bit of competition in the office. Oh, look, we, he's already set up his table with his magazines and his books. I love it. I mean, I love it because I want mine to look like that. I've just been very busy. Uh-huh. I'm busy with your life, hun. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You know, so many people that I meet, they're always like, I want to meet Jason. I want to meet Jason. <laughs> I want to meet Jason. And um, it's actually so funny. We'll go into my partner. Oh, wow. Well, How I many times Andrew. do we get photos of you two together? <laughs> well, look, it's so funny because... We'll tell another story here. <laughs> Alison and Andrew, they've been dating for a while. They go away to, where were you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the farm maybe? Yeah, was it the farm? Yeah. Was it the farm? Anyway, you went away one weekend and then one of my girlfriends goes, oh, my goodness, you and Ali are away. How cute. What are you doing? And this is one of my <laughs> personal friends. I'm like, girl, what are you talking about? And she's like, you're with Ali right now. And I'm like, no, I'm not. She's like, well, then who's she with? I'm like, that's Andrew. That's her partner. Thank you very much. Oh so I get God. it a lot, even from people that I'm close with. They're like, you guys look so similar. However, I am five foot five and he's like five foot 11. So that's a little the, bit of a difference. There's a little bit of difference there. <laughs> and you have your nails done and he I doesn't. have my nails done, he doesn't. But you know, we're both Filipino males, we're both quite handsome. You know, I get it. <laughs> you both have better routines than me. But, um, you know, we actually met, I don't know if you know the story, but um, so we met a few times. Mm-hmm. Like we met at Indigo. Mm-hmm. Had yes, dinner, we were there. And he says to me, I have never in my life sat, because he was sitting with a friend that I knew and that's how we all sat down. And you started walking over and he said, I have never in my eyes had somebody walking at me thinking, I have a gay man who looks exactly <laughs> like me with a handbag and his nails done. <laughs> And he's like, Alison, it was the craziest moment of my life. I thought you were going to have like a heaps of romantic stories. Like I've never seen a beautiful woman like you walking over to him. But then the story changes. I've never seen a gay man who looks exactly like me. (laughs) And then. I love that. Then we met a few other times. But with them, he actually has a guy who works with him. And one of my franchisees, they're actually getting engaged. Oh, beautiful. So we happened to be invited to the same engagement party. That's right. And and I wasn't going to go that day because I had. Uh, I don't think I had something on. You had a meeting. Meeting on. But then you, I asked you if you could come with me and you said no. I had a meeting. No, you were getting a tattoo. I was getting a tattoo. Yeah, you. <laughs> I and had tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was getting a tattoo. And um, so I decided just to go, just to show my face. And I was, I actually wasn't feeling that well that day. I was super tired. So I was like, oh, go because you just don't, you don't say yes to something and then not go. I've always Absolutely. been a big believer in that. And then he comes up to me and he's like, Alison. And I was like, Andrew? And he's like, you remember me? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, the last six months, I swear every single day my friends send me a photo of (laughs) Jason and then they put my face (laughs) on it and they do like the comparison. And I was like, oh, wow, you actually do look really alike. You know what? We do look similar. Honestly, it's because we're both handsome. (laughs) Handsome man, (laughs) hun. Your your life has revolved and like got so many just beautiful men around you. You're just lucky. Well, I only choose the best. Yeah, you do. You do. (laughs) (laughs) what else is new what else are we doing honestly we have so many fun and exciting things happening like obviously the main thing is is that we have our office again like a new Mm. office we've Mm. got a brand new team Mm. we've got so many things that we're working on like in the like behind the scenes behind the scenes with this company i think I think because the coronavirus was a big hit to every business in it was a massive in hit history. to everybody. 
And I think coming out of the coronavirus is the most exciting part of business. People can start fresh. Yeah, but it's so exciting where this business, our business is going to go for the next six months. Absolutely. Because we have a lot of new things happening. We have got this new creative company that we're working That's with. That's right. We've got the new marketing team. Mm-hmm. We've got the new product coming out. Which is, and it's a, it, like, honestly, it is still obviously in the development stages. Oh, yeah. And you know, there's not much back, that we can, like, you know, forward. everything's pushing back, yeah. pushing forward. We can't talk much about it, but yeah. that's an exciting thing. Yeah. And <clears throat> I'm just so excited for where the business is going because I think it's, a, I'm very straight at the moment. I know exactly where, where the business is heading. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's super exciting with the team that we've got on. So love you. I'm so happy that you're with me. Oh, and thank you. Let's take this crazy ride together. Oh, we will. <laughs> <laughs>